What's going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing the text reveal effect, a very simple but really effective and quite nice effect that you can pull off very easily in Adobe Premiere Pro. And in today's quick, probably maximum 10 minute tutorial, we're going to be walking through everything from the beginning all the way to the end and completing this text reveal effect. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, what's going on guys? So this is the effect we're going to be doing right here. Very simple, even though it might not look simple. Um, you know, if you don't know one of the key couple little things that you use for this. Um, overall, it is an extremely, extremely simple effect though. And this is not only just text, but it's live text as well. So even though we've done all these animations here, we could even just, you know, press T to get the text tool and actually change this so we could call it, uh, you know, Jack Cole, which is my name. We could then go to the uh, graphics tab and actually just center that right here. And then we could play it and it's going to do the, Oh, <laughs> I'm not too sure what bit of motion just screwed up there. Um, but pretty much <laughs> I'm not too sure. How did that happen? All right. This is a, uh, this, oh, right down here with the position, obviously. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 Um, so I could probably just go ahead and undo that. And it would uh, and it would be fine. Oh, um, well. Anyways, regardless, it's a good thing we're going to be creating some new text because when I changed the name there, <laughs> that messed up a little bit. Anyways, without further ado, this should be working absolutely perfect for you guys. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and delete that. That's how quick it's going to be done. It's how quick we can do it. I'm going to delete that text right there, and we're going to get started with a whole brand new setup. So. What we want to first do is actually go ahead and create the line, which kind of has the appearance that it's going to come up out of that, even though it sort of doesn't really have anything to do with the line and it's, you know, it's, it's kind of on its own. But anyways, boom, to create a line, what we want to do uh, is press P to get the pen tool. But to create a proper straight line, what we want to do is just go to this little settings right here and just go ahead and turn on the safe margins. Now, the reason for that is because you can't do the same thing you can do in Photoshop uh, to create a straight line where you kind of click and then press shift. You see, I just did it there and it created a weird line. That does not work. I don't know why they didn't do that. That's like a great trick that makes it pretty easy to do straight lines and, and stuff like that in Photoshop, but they didn't do that here in Premiere, even though it's Adobe still. That's not the greatest thing in the world to be fair, but oh well, you can get around it with the safe margins where you could just go ahead and press uh, down here at the bottom of the safe margin there and uh, down here at the bottom of the safe margin there. And if it doesn't look right, just press you know Control Z, undo that, pop it there again, and that has been created. Then I'm going to go to the appearance. Just go ahead and pop that um, on white. Okay, I'm going to put the stroke on actually as well, just so we can make this bigger and just go ahead and drag that stroke out to about there. Um, yep, that, that should be all right. And now I can actually go here, go ahead and turn those safe margins off. And we've got ourselves a little bit of a line right there. We could actually go ahead and get the uh, position of this uh, line. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just go ahead and bring bring this up actually bring it up a bit uh, by transforming it up here. So let's bring it kind of where we can see it uh, working out for the text to put be above it where it would still all look pretty centered. I'm gonna go for about there and that's looking pretty cool. Now this guy right here, you see him? He's kind of been left behind and we've put that up there. Try put that as in the center as you can. Now I'm gonna do it roughly here but then I'm actually gonna zoom in on 200 uh, times and actually just come down here and make sure that he's nicely in the center of these two dots, okay? And the reason for that is because the center point matters because we're gonna be animating the scale outwards. So it has the illusion that it's kind of being drawn out each way. And that center point really matters for it to get that uh, animation correct. So boom, put the center point as nicely as you can in the middle, right there, boom, dead on in the middle. And then let's actually just go ahead and skip a few frames in, okay? So I'm actually gonna skip um, 15 frames in about 15, just like that. Okay. Which is, I think about half a second should be about half a second, 15 milliseconds. <laughs> and I'm actually just going to go ahead and go to scale, uh, untick uniform scale, which means the scale is not attached together. For example, this scale would just do it in both axis. So the scale would just go X and Z. We don't want, or horizontal and vertical. We don't want that. We want a uniform scale. Go ahead and put a hundred. So at 15 milliseconds or half a second, I'm pretty sure that's going to be 100. Skip to the beginning, put that to zero. So now if we give this a play, just like that, very simply, we have a line that animates itself outwards, right? Over the course of half a second. And yep, that is half a second because 29 and then it's a second there. Yeah, so boom. Over the course of half a second, that animates itself out. And now it's very simple to pop that text in there. It's too simple, actually. This effect looks so much more advanced than it is, I swear. Um, but 
you guys are about to know that through this very simple method here. So now it's actually just go until it is 100% visible. So we have a something to work around basically. And let's actually just go ahead and press T, pop the text here. And what, what type of text? Should we just have the word uh, text or text effect? That's what I just did last time, wasn't it? Boom. Pop that in the middle and that is putting it pretty nicely on top of that line just by actually just clicking the alignment right here, right? Which is just gonna put that into the direct center. Uh, that right there is the vertical center. That right there is the horizontal center. Uh, so we've got a pretty nice piece of text. It's got a nice font in there. Everything's looking pretty good. And overall, uh, you know, it's looking pretty nice. Now to actually create uh, this kind of illusion that it's coming up out of this line, we wanna click on the text and just go ahead and create a mask. Now we wanna create the uh, polygon mask. That's just gonna be a square mask, basically. Click the top guy, drag that all the way over until the whole text is seen. Click this bottom guy right here, drag it over until um, we can see the whole text. Likewise, uh, with the other side as well. Just go ahead and drag that over. And let's actually just bring this up so that it just comes below that line. Now that one there is not 100% straight, um, but it's in this line, right? So anything below this line is not visible. What a mask means is anything in this box is visible. So if you bring this over there, the text isn't in the box, so it's not visible. So um, if the text is down here, it's not in the box, it's not visible. So that's how we're gonna create this illusion that is coming out of the uh, line right here. Um, now what we actually want to do now that we've done that is just go ahead and add a little bit of a feather So I could even do like a 50 feather something like that and pay attention to the line right here So I might even want to just do like a 40 feather or maybe even like a 35 and maybe even bring this up a little bit just so Just so it still has the illusion that it comes out of this line even though it might Be a little bit blurred which is actually going to be kind of like a nicer uh, complement to, to to the effect we're doing um, but make sure that none of these lines are below that white line so that we still have the, uh, the illusion that's coming out of the text. Now I'm skipping across a few frames and I'm just actually just going to go to to where this is complete, okay? Or to where this is nearly complete. Actually, nah, screw it. I am going to go to where it's, where it's complete. I'm actually going to go to here, about one second. So at one second it will have risen 100%. And I'm going to go all the way down here in the effect parameters of my text uh, effect text and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put a position um, Toggle animation on one second right so one second it will be there that that will be the position then I'm gonna come back and actually just find Where it's nearly come up. So let's say Here here right There it's the the, the line is nearly completed I'm just gonna go to this text now come over here click the position and actually just go ahead and drag that down and as you see because we've Ooh, sorry, I've got indigestion. Um, but as you see, because of that mask, when we drag this text na down now, it's not visible. So now if we bring this back to the beginning and give it a play, this text is going to be working its way up. The only thing that needs to change is the text needs to go faster, right? So we could go here and maybe uh, in half the time it's there. So we go play it, boom, and just like that, we've created a text reveal effect. And obviously you can make this quicker, slower, uh, by all means, we just had a, a slow version there or a slow version before. We could do another slow version right there where it just kind of edges its way up. Um, we could do all sorts of stuff. We could even do, we could duplicate this line so that um, we could, you know what I mean, drag it up here or something like that. And the, the, the text now goes in the middle of these two lines. If we bring this down a little bit like there, and if we made it uh, coming quicker again, so boom. And we actually give it a play, boom. This now draws itself out. And overall, this is a very quick, very cool effect, how you can create the text reveal effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Overall, like I said, quick tutorial, um, pretty hands-on example. Overall, thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack Ritz, Jack Cole. I produce weekly content uh, based around video production here on my channel. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in another video. I hope I see you in another video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.